What's up guys, this is Just Crackin' Packs. Today we are going to be kicking off a new playlist. I know I do a lot of them, but this one's gonna be a lot of fun. This is going to be our mystery box rating playlist on YouTube. All right, so today's gonna be a lot of fun. I've been recently following uh, Pokey Collect. Uh, I'll post their website in the bio of this video, but they have a bunch of different mystery boxes, which I'll probably search through as I go. But I bought their bare minimum tier for their English sets, and this is their super pack bundle. So it's $18.50, and first look at it, it's nothing, it's nothing special. Um, it's really just kind of it's really just a box, and then they basically got their logos put on it. So it's nothing special. Um, I do have a couple of other mystery boxes I did like it a little bit better, but again, it's all about what's inside and not out. I paid $18.50 for this box, so let's see if this box is worth the buy. Alright, let's see if we can get it open. Okay, oh, it feels like the card is on the first bit, but we ended up with an Arceus. Um, an Arceus coin. I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna see what side this is. Looks like that's inside. All right. So there is our card. You get four. I believe you get four or five packs. You get four packs and a card. So very similar to that Troll and Toad box that we did earlier. Now, already judging, it looks like we have a decent selection of packs. Uh, we do have a Battle Styles. We have an Astral Radiance. We do get an Evolving Skies and Brilliant Stars. So that's pretty nice. Um, so. Based off of what I can think of right now in terms of price, these are probably going for about, you know, if we're doing retail, if we just do retail for all of these, uh, like MSRP, probably about four bucks each, so that's $16, uh, roughly. Um, obviously, the market for some of these, like, for example, battle styles here, might be less than that, but we're just gonna do, we're just gonna base it off of off of, uh, for now, just MSRP, um, which would be $3.99 roughly for each of these packs, and then, so that would basically bring us to $16, so we're almost there in terms of value. All right, here is mystery card. Looks like it is a Leopard V. From Chilling Rain. So this comes a little bit just under that 1850, if I have to guess correctly, especially if you factor in the market value for some of these packs. So this did not quite get you back to that um, that 1850 that you put in, but it's pretty close. Uh, it's much closer than what I've seen with summer with some of the other um, sets some of the other mystery boxes that we've done, particularly those treasure mystery boxes. But without further ado, uh, let's see if we get anything out of these. Um, so far, so so far, I would say this probably gets to, um, with the assortment of packs we have, we do have some nice assortment of packs. We do get an Evolving Skies and a Brilliant Stars. Uh, we do get an Astral Radiance, which is not a bad set, and Battle Styles is, is what it is. Uh, this is not a very, you know, this isn't a rare card per se. I don't know what exactly they would be putting in. There's really no chase packs in this. They basically just say you get four packs and you get a mystery card. Um, so it's not really going to be anything special. I would say this basically meets expectations. Um, it's nothing fancy. Um, and the packs, you do get a decent selection of packs and it's not crazy. So uh, as of right now, I would say it probably meets expectations. Um, most, I feel like most mystery boxes, especially these smaller ones, are probably going to be around that that mid level, just simply because there's not much room for them to be able to wow you, um, because they're there's going to be limited in what they give you. So uh, I would say this one it meets expectations. It's not a bad mystery box, but it's you know I've seen some better ones. Um, but without further ado, let's open these up. I would say as of right now, this is probably at that five range, which I was not going, I was not expecting for this to be, to wow me. I know if they gave me like an amazing card, you know, something that was worth the price of the box alone, then yeah, yeah. But again, you know, this is a value-based 
box from what it appears to be. So I'm not really surprised that it just meets expectations, which is not a bad thing. But anyway, let's get these open. All right, we're gonna start with Battle Styles. Now, I still need the Sleepy Tar. So I am super, super excited to open this because I'm still looking for the Sleepy Tar. I still need the uh, Altart VMAX, uh, the Altart Urshifu Single Strike VMAX. So, let's see if we can get one of those. Now, again, you know, this is a mystery box, so the odds of me getting something amazing are probably slim to none, just because you're you're fighting odds here. But one can hope, right? Let me know in the comments what other mystery boxes you want you would want me to look at. Now, um, first holo Electabuzz and a non hollow rare Jellison. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what mystery boxes you may want me to look into. Um, Within reason, of course, I'm not going to, you know, at this point in time, I'm not spending $500 in the mystery box right now. Um, unless I check out their early tiers first. But, uh, yeah, post in the comments if there's anything that you would want me to look into and do some research on and see if it's worth looking at. Because I'm always looking for new interesting products to post on this channel, and I know people like mystery boxes. So yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comments if there's something you want me to try out. Um, but for now, I'm probably going to be doing low tier mystery bags until I see if it's going to be worth my time. Um, reverse hollow Hisuian Sneasler and a non hollow rare Hisuian Overquill. So nothing yet. Um, I can't really blame that on the mystery box. So um, outside of, I think, what, Fusion Strike, these can't really be weighed so obviously you know they're not weighing them or anything um, it's just sometimes it's just the luck of the draw of what we get but uh, so far honestly my favorite mystery box that I've done so far has to be that troll and toad ooh, upside down reverse hall identity or Dedenny, and a non hall rare a scavalier so, yeah, so far the Troll and Toad one has to be, the power pack has to be the the best one I've opened so far. Uh, just simply because uh, it's in a little bit of a higher tier, it's about $24.99, and they really do a good job at trying to make sure that you get what you're, you know, what you're paying for. All right. So this is the last pack is Evolving Skies. So let's see if we can pull out something here. Reverse Hollow Ribbon Badge. And non hollow Rare, Stoutland. Uh, so we got no hits out of this. So this was um, a little disappointing. But we did end up with a Lipard V Hollow. Um, so that is something, I guess. Uh, for 1850, you know, you're getting four packs and a um, and a hit. Now, essentially, so basically, you have the, for example, if you look at it another way, promo boxes are 19.99 and you're getting four packs and a rare card. Now you do get that jumbo card as well. So that could be roughly $150, $2, depending on what the card is. But essentially we're getting a rare or a shining card and four packs. So this basically is par for the course. And most, honestly, most of those V boxes and the promo boxes, they don't have incredibly, you know, they don't really have an incredibly great pull rates anyway so I would say this is kind of par for the course uh, I think that this is you know I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the packaging uh, it's not really you know it's 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 a box um, but again you know I'm not gonna put that that too much against them um, it's not super duper fancy or anything like that but I've seen I've seen better 
but it does meet expectations. Uh, you get four packs, you get a card, and it meets the value of what, what you were supposed to get. Um, oh, I also forgot that in this power bundle you do get this, which this is essentially a deck box. Um, so this is kind of like their answer to the Troll and Toad version. Um, so this, again, this meets expectations. I'm not sure. Get this open, there we go. So you do get this deck box. Um, so, yeah. I would say, I don't think there's anything, I think it's just the normal stuff in this. Um, but, yeah, I think it's just sleeves or something. Um, so yeah, this meets expectations. I would say this is the, the most five of five can be, because <laughs> it just meets expectations. Um, so yeah, I'd give this a five. It's, it's worth a buy if you're just looking to get some random stuff and you just, you want to see what you can get. Um, if you're looking for the thrill mystery pack, mystery pack, you don't want to spend too much. It's not bad. It's not a bad product. It's a decent product. Um, I'd say it's about five out of ten. So that falls within that great ball class. Um, stay tuned for next time. I bought the Japanese version of this, and we will open that next time. We'll see if that was worth it. Um, and it is in a little bit higher tier. So hopefully, there'll be some good stuff in it. Stay tuned guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if there are other mystery boxes you'd like to see or if you'd like to keep seeing mystery box content all together. Um, I'd be happy to do more. So please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching guys, until next time.